second boss commander from uh, Lord of the Fallen. Relatively simple as well. Um, you just kind of have to learn his attacks and find out when he's going to do a long range attack or a short range, like area of effect attack. But once you learn his attacks, you just have to sneak your attacks in while he's doing other things. And then, like right now, when he has the shields all around him, the only way to get those shields to go down is to kill the minions that he spawns. And I think he spawns one minion and then two for the rest of the, the fight. <clears throat> but I always, when I fight these guys, I always try to get behind them and just get um, an auto attack in because then you do this little animation, which is basically an execution. So, like a one shot, one kill. I try to do it earlier. But... And the commander, like, after he does his abilities, he's uh, like relatively like slow with his animations, so you have a lot of chances for like cheap shots. Like just watching this video voiceover, I see potential like where I could have done extra damage to him, but I did because I was just playing cautiously because I just wanted to beat him in one try. But, um, oh, that, see that was a bad, bad, bad thing that I did. I did not mean to do that. Well, that's what I'm thinking anyways. I don't think that's a strategy to just do a ability in front of the boss when you're in range of them. Whenever he does that and he points his sword up in the air and does the animation, he's obviously going to do a straight line skill shot. That's your opportunity to sidestep and do some attacks, get a couple cheap shots in. See what you can accomplish. And when you put like the the decoy down, like that's the that the only point. I, the only reason I did that was to execute these guys and not take any damage from them. Because you only have like three or four potions when you first start out, so you can't just take damage. Well, I mean, I didn't need to really take any damage from the commander, but you know, mistakes happen, obviously. Let's see, whenever he does the, the shield bash to the ground, he does like random area of effect damage in front of him, but nothing behind him. Oh, I guess it, it goes behind him a little bit, but not right next to him. So you're pretty safe if you're right next to him. And he usually, oh, I thought he did two of those attacks. I guess it's just one. Oh, here it is two. Yeah, he does two right there. So he has kind of like a couple different skill sets, I guess. And like I only have one potion left, which is obviously gonna be sufficient. Yep, so that's just a sign that minions are spawning somewhere, so be careful. So I just kind of try to bait them by the decoy and then kill them. And I take care of the little guy first because he dies in four or five attacks. And the big guy, I, I try to execute. I don't know if I do. See, I'm just worried about not taking damage right now instead of actually killing him, because I could have killed him recklessly and took an attack or something. That's fine. I didn't want to take any damage. Like I said. And it's always better to play conservative when you don't have that many potions. If you have seven potions, I guess be a little reckless as long as you're not going to get dying three attacks from the boss or two attacks, which will happen later on. But... When he takes a step back and then a step forward, that means that he's going to um, slam the shield into the ground. So, the faster you can prepare for that, attacks he can get in. If you see he's gonna do it, try to get behind him when he's gonna do it. Because you can't obviously hit him from the front because of his shield. It blocks a big portion of him. Yep, and he's finished. Like I said, he's relatively easy. His attacks are easy to avoid. And his wind up for his attacks takes so long that you see them coming so you can prepare for them in advancement. But that's relatively simple, as I said. Um, I, um, oh, 
got the audio cut out. Anyways, if you uh, liked the video, if it was helpful, you could subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos. I'm going to be uh, doing a uh, video for every block.